here to discuss all of that and more is car coach Lauren Fix. Lauren, thank you for being with us again. I mean, what's an auto owner to do when the answer is no, there's no repairing your problem right now from airbags, but it could cause serious death or injury? Well, I've got the same problem. I have two vehicles that are under airbag recall and there are no parts available. So you have to just keep calling the dealer and being persistent. It's not like one dealer has it and it doesn't. The fact is you still need to be in the loop. So it's up to you to be proactive. I know the federal government is really trying to make sure that every single person out there that has an airbag problem gets it repaired. The problem is if there are no parts because the manufacturer has to go back and retool it, you kind of have to wait it out. If you sell the vehicle or trade the vehicle in because you're concerned, that's understood. Usually there is some sort of concession for that situation. Concession from the, the dealer, if you take it back to the dealer and try to get it uh, taken back? Right. The, they wouldn't buy it back without having you buy another vehicle. They're going to try and sell you something else in the lot because it's all about sales. So they're going to try and upsell you into a newer model that doesn't have that problem or a used car that's on the lot. So be, be prepared for that. But they won't just buy it outright. That just won't happen. It, it's really sort of strange what Lincoln uh, says. Lincoln says that, you know, their airbags, and I don't know if this is the same for, for all of the, I know there's a couple of companies that are involved in the airbag uh, uh, demise, the problem, but uh, Lincoln says that their airbags are susceptible to temperature changes and the humidity variations. Therefore, when they do get parts, they're going to first go to uh, areas in the southern United States, then followed by, I don't know, Buffalo, New York, maybe, uh, Lauren, then by Canada. Uh, so you'll be middle of the line. Now, if you're in right. Buffalo and you drive your car to, I don't know, Daytona and you stay down there uh, for a lot of the time, you're sort of SOL, I guess, right? Right. Well, they call those snowbirds around here. Those are people that live up the northern end of the country during the summer and the southern end during the winter. Yeah, you would be susceptible. You would probably want to register your vehicle if you're looking for an airbag replacement somewhere down in Florida. You're more likely to get that airbag replaced at a sooner date. The big thing that I tell everyone, if you're ever concerned, you never want to be closer than 12 inches of that airbag to the center of your chest. And the reason for that is that is the proper distance. Closer if that airbag does deploy in an accident, whether there's a problem in a recall or not, you're likely to get injured. So you want to be at least 12 inches. I, that doesn't mean be back as far as you can because you have to reach the pedals and the steering wheel. But keep that in mind from a safety perspective. Get the airbag replaced when you can. If you're totally concerned, you're thinking, I'm not willing to take that risk, you may have to invest in another vehicle. That's great consumer information, Lauren. Let me ask you real quickly before we go. Uh, we saw this first autonomous car related death, uh, and Uber's called off their testing program. Is that going to have some chilling impact on the longer term autonomous uh, cars, or you think it's just going to last for a while? It's going to cause some serious government regulation, which we know is coming. The insurance agencies are going to raise their rates because they know one death is one too many. Uh, and then, of course, you've got the hackers who are waiting for this network to start going for these autonomous cars to communicate with each other. And the only winner in all of this is only one group, and that's the tort attorneys. They're very excited. They're going to sue Volvo and Uber and the insurance company, the driver, anybody that tires, the city, the town. They're going to sue everyone. And the only one who's going to make money off of this is going to be the attorneys. Oh, my gosh. We Sad. thank you for the information either way, but we're glad to know the status. Lauren Fix, the car coach. Thanks for your time as always. Anytime.